Hello, welcome to VirtualMarkTemplate.com and if you've been trying to make a one VirtualMark product page different from all the others and you're wondering how, how can I just make one page different because well, over time I've changed this one, all the pages change. changed I'm going to show you how to fix that in this video tour so let's begin so the first thing you need to do, we need to do we need to go to our FTP and we're going to go to the template folder and we're using the shopper theme that we sell on virtualmarktemplate.com you can buy this theme if you risk from there i would be most grateful if you do so go to the shopper folder and we will go to the HTML folder we'll go to the convertmark folder and we're going to go to the product detail folder is this one here and there's this little file here see called default php now we will download that folder file here i mean sorry and we'll just wait for it to download Okay, so I want to change the colour of this header on the product page. So I want to make it only blue for this project page. Now, I recommend if you haven't got Google Chrome, I recommend you download it. So it makes it easier for you to follow on this tool. So it's best if you do that now if you haven't got Google Chrome. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is just right click here. And we're going to click on the inspect element option here. And that brings up uh, where this header code is. Isn't it? Oh on the template. So we see it here and the div above that is the class icons. So I know that's roughly where it is, so I'm just going to double click on that, copy the icons text, go back to Dreamweaver and just double click on my file. Now if you haven't got Dreamweaver done there, every, every uh, text editor has this function which is if I go control F which is a find feature and I just go click on find all and here we can see where our div class is. I'm just going to switch that off, go scroll down and keep it going. Okay, so here's our header tag, which is scroll down. So there's our icons, which is this one here. Now I want to change the color blue. To do that, I'm going to paste in some code. Now, if you go to click on the link below this video, you'll go to this page and you'll have the um, code here. You just copy that and you can paste that into your template. So I'm just going to use the code, so I'm just going to like that, copy it, and I'm going to paste that here, and I'm just going to make a closing div. So I'm going to show you more how to do this, but anything within this will basically give um, a unique style, and the way it does that is you've got the product class here, and this code has the this code has the product page number. So I'll show you how that works. So I'm just going to save that. And now the next thing I'm going to do is just go and upload it here. Let's go back to our website. And just as a recap, I'll just show you. So we see um, we see that here. Okay, so let's just refresh the page and see what happens. Okay, put the cursor over the head again, expect that element. And now you can see there's this new new term, new div added. It's product style 11. So that's how we can restyle, give every product a unique, unique design. So I could probably just show you that. So if I click on the, uh, click on this page, open up a new tab. Uh, just to go choose a different product. I'm just going to choose this one. I'll go right click again, inspect element. And we see this one has product style 7, and this one, if we go back to this one, it has product style 11. So every now, every product has a unique class, so you can style them all separately how you like. So I'm just going to double click on this and highlight it and copy it go back to Dreamweaver and I'm going to go to my template CSS folder and I'm just going to download the style ok once our style is downloaded just go double click on it 
and I'm just going to add the new card here, so I'm just going to place it in there, add a dot in front because it's a class, and I'm just going to add change the colour, so, oh yeah, because it's H1 tab, we need to put H1, and we're just going to make the colour, probably, we'll just make it, so as we said, we'll make it blue, and just put it there, save this, and now we just upload the star again. Okay, and now this should hopefully turn blue. We'll just double check. Yeah, and there you go. So that's how you can give um, your quote page a unique style. And if you want to change the whole page, you just basically all you do is we go to default. You just move this div here lower, so so you put more of your product detail page within this div, within these, within this div. And just double check it hasn't changed the swan's colour, so we'll just refresh. And there you go. Many thanks to everyone who's been buying our templates, help us, um, which give me the time to make you more video tools. Um, be most grateful if you subscribe to the YouTube channel or like this video or if you have any questions, leave a comment below and enjoy yourself. Have a good day. Have fun. Take care. Bye.